Let's look at this example to understand what pulse width modulation is. When we don't have the current, the motor is static. Nothing happens, nothing rotates. When we send tiny pulses of current for a short time, we make the motor rotate. When there is no current, the motor rotates by inertia. We can see that the voltage is applied to the motor only 25% of the time. And in this case, we will have only 25% of power. Next, we increase pulse length and reduce gaps when we don't have the current. Now we have identical period when the voltage is applied and gaps when it doesn't. The motor is pushed half of the time, so that the power will be equal to 50%. Going further, we can apply voltage during 75% of the time. The power will increase accordingly. And finally, when the current is flowing constantly, we have 100% of the power. Let's zoom out and review it together. We can see that power or speed is controlled by current impulses. We apply the same voltage but for a different amount of time. The longer the impulses, the more speed and power the motor will reach. No current, no power. When pulse length is 25% of a period, we have 25% of the power. We have half the power when the gaps are equal to the current flow periods. When pulse length is 75% of a period, we have 75% of the power. And finally, full power when the current is constant. Combining the edge bridge with the pulse width modulation allows us to control the electric motor speed and rotation direction.